Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a review and flip through of the new Ashley Shelley Daily Planner, which releases today. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. Okay, so this planner just released today. There's a bunch of different covers for it. This is just one of them. There's some florals and other stuff, but yeah, I'm excited about this because if you remember, I was testing daily planners in the beginning of the year and I'm kind of excited to get another one. Um, I'm still not really sticking with my daily planner, but I wanted to show this to you guys in case you are interested in you know, doing a daily planner for 2022. Anyway, this is the signature Ashley Shelley planner daily version. I have a 15% off code for you. It is Bumble 15 and it expires at the end of September. By the way, thank you so much, Ashley, for sponsoring this video and sending me this planner. And now let's get started and see what this is all about. So first off, you have a really um, hard cover. It's like a hard cardboard cover with these corners in silver. It feels very sturdy. It is not by any means flimsy, so it feels good. We've got the big coil here. This is what it looks like. So the paper is 100 GSM, 68 pound paper, which is a little bit thinner than Ashley's normal paper in other planners. However, it's still really nice. The reason being that this planner is really thick and when you have a daily planner and you have one for the full year you're not doing like a six month one or something it's hard to fit it all in you guys so <laughs> the paper is slightly thinner but we'll talk about that okay so again you've got this sturdy cover inside you always have a little um, pocket folder which is nice and then in all the Ashley Scheller, Shelley planners you get a sticker sheet and a little um, pocket a little pouch. That's what I'm trying to say. A little pen pouch or paper pouch or whatever you need it for with a Ziploc. Okay. So we've got our, um, you know, name page here, like in all her planners, there's always like this little corner thing. So if you want to keep track of where you are without a bookmark, you can certainly pull these off so that you know, you know, so it's easy to find the day that you're at. Okay, so inside the front cover, as always, is a little note from Ashley. Here we have your 2022 inspiration board where you can put whatever you want, stickers, quotes, dreams, whatever you want. You have contacts here, favorite meal ideas. Okay, so I really like this page. It's a 2022 planning overview. So you can put in all of your important dates in here and that actually is really helpful for an overview of the year. And then you have your yearly calendars here for 2022 and 2023, and then a page of holidays for reference. Okay, so here's your January divider. It's a little bit thicker than the rest because it's got the tab on it okay and then you have your january calendar and each one of these blocks is lined which is nice you have a little note section over here oh and by the way this measures wait just so you know let me measure it for you you guys i think we need to know that so this measures i guess it's like a six by nine let's see yep it's a six by nine which i could have guessed but you know I wanted to just show you, make sure it's a six by nine. Okay, so this page says, create your best days, 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 days in January. What are you grateful for right now? What are you worried, stressed about right now? What can you do to remove your stress? What creates happiness in your life that you want to do more of this month? So Ashley Shelley, if you're not familiar with her planners, she's very much into mental health and wellness and writing out how you're feeling and your goals and all of that. I think it's great. What are you going to say no to this month? Imagine your month ahead, write a few words to describe 
how you want to feel this month, self-care activities slash items, monthly goals, yay, and your word of the month or mantra. And this is kind of cool because I've always done a word of the year, but maybe next year I'll do a word of the month because then you can switch it up if that word is not working for you, right? Like I have two words of the year, but do you remember what they are? <laughs> Build and balance. And I'm doing pretty well on both of them. Little, Not as much as I want on both of them, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, I digress. So you've got a nice page. And I like that there's one of these every month so that you can kind of compare. And they're going to be the same every month, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so they're the same every month. So what you can do at the end of the year when you're really figuring out your goals for the following year is to sort of refer back to these months, see how your goals went, see what you need to do more of, what you need to do less of, all of that kind of stuff. I think it's really important to like keep track of that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is what your daily pages look like. We have a to-do list here on the left and then a schedule on the right. And the, this is enough blocks for, um, I believe, eight o'clock to five o'clock with half an hour increments. And you can do that however you want. Um, if you don't wanna do a schedule, you could always just use this as another list, but I think the schedule's really good for hourly time blocking, and I'm probably gonna be using that um, if I decide to use this planner, which I'm still not sure yet, but I do wanna use a daily planner, so we'll see. Um, this is a dated planner, so it is already dated for you, just so you're aware of that. And then down here in the, like these three blocks, you can do really anything you want. They have little headers on them. So you could do like self-care activities. You could put your meals in there. You could do like habit trackers. You could put stickers on here. Really, you can do whatever you want. And I like that it's not prompted so that you can actually decide what you're going to use it for. Down here, we have a note section. Saturday and Sunday is combined into one page. Um, and that just makes it a lot easier to fit everything in this planner. Because like I said, when you have a daily planner, it is thick. Um, and most people don't have as much to do on the weekend. But if you're somebody who doesn't like that, then that might be an issue for you. But um, that's the way it's laid out. Okay, so as you can see, we continue this look. We got the same col same colors throughout. And let's um, check out the end of the month. It goes right into February. And then your February calendar is a different color. We have the blue, then the purple. But your pages are going to look the same. Let's check out March. And then we get into the blue. So like bright blue, purple, and then dark blue. And I think it's going to continue like that. No, then we have an even darker blue in April. And then May is the bright blue again. Okay, so that's how it's going to go throughout the whole thing. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the back. I always like to look in the back of the planners just to see if there's any note pages or anything. Nope, it just is a little page say, like leading you to her website. It says create your best days. And then we have like the polka dot back cover. Okay, so here's what the back cover looks like. It just says, Ashley Shelley, create your best days. It's very minimal, um, really pretty like periwinkle blue color. So what I thought I would do for you guys is do like a pen test and we'll test this paper and see how it works. I mean, I always like to know that. It's, I think it's super important, so let's test it. I'm just gonna start. I'll do like a daily page because I think, I mean, all the paper is the same, obviously, but I think that's kind of important to do the daily page. So we can kind of take a look and see if it goes through to the other side. So right now I have a Muji 0.5 here. Yeah, 0.5. And I'm just going to write a to-do list. Let's see. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep and relax. I'm just writing normally here. I'm writing Muji 0.38 pen. Okay, so there's that one. And now we're gonna test a tool pen. This is a gel and this is like a little bit um, thicker. This is a 0.7, I think. So I'm gonna do the tool 0.7 pen. Do your chores, I don't know. 
I'm sure if I do decide to use this planner, then like, it's gonna be weird when I get to this page. <laughs> okay, so let's check it out. Okay, it looks really good. There's a little bit of bumpiness because when I write, I typically write really hard on the page. I'm one of those people that like press down really hard. So there is a little bit of that. As far as like actual ghosting, well, well I'll just show you. It's very minimal. I can see it just a tiny bit, if, especially if I like really press down on the page, you can see it a tiny bit, but it's not something that's gonna bother me at all. Like that would not bother me. So it's definitely not that bad. I'm someone who's really picky about that sort of thing. And it's definitely better than a lot of them that I've seen. So there you go. That is the Signature Ashley Shelley Daily Planner for 2022. Again, don't forget you can use code BUMBLE15 for 15% off and it's available today. So go check it out and um, let me know what you think. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.